gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Hey, friends. Guess what? I got a package in the mail. Have you ever gotten a package in the mail? It's so exciting! Even if I know what's inside, I just got all wiggly and excited. Oh, here comes the wiggles! Wiggle break! You can wiggle with me. Come on! Okay, okay. Time to see what's inside. It's from my Aunt Lucy. She's the bestie best. You know what she does? She builds things. Things like big, huge, ginormous buildings. Well, she doesn't build them by herself. She is strong, but that would be crazy. She makes the plans for buildings and then makes sure that people follow her plan while they're building it. Which reminds me, I think I know what she sent. Every time my Aunt Lucy is going to build a new building, she sends me a small version of it that I can build myself. It's so much fun! I wonder what this building will look like. It may be a tall, top hat building. It may be a short, flat pancake building. Maybe it will be something in between. Let's see! Here are all the blocks I need for the building. Oh, this looks so amazing! And here are the plans. Whoa! This looks like a lot. There are 30 steps? Hmm. Well, it doesn't look that hard. I think I can do it without looking at the plans. Cool? Let's build! Um, this doesn't look right. My Aunt Lucy's buildings are always super strong. This looks like if I just touch it, it would do that! Hmm, I wonder. I followed some of the steps in the plan, but not all of them. Do you think that's why it wasn't right? I need to keep wondering while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Mark, chapter 1. Jesus was going to a town called Galilee. And walking along the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw a person named Simon and his brother Andrew out fishing. Simon and Andrew were fishermen. That means that catching and selling fish was how they made money. But Jesus called out to them and said, come, follow me. I'll send you out to fish for people. Fish for people? That didn't make sense. Jesus meant that they would tell people all about how they can get to know God and believe that Jesus was the Savior. Simon and Andrew heard Jesus loud and clear, and you know what? They left their fishing nets right away and followed Jesus. As Jesus continued walking by the sea, he saw James and his brother John. They were also fishermen. They were with their dad and some other worker when Jesus called out to them, just like how he did to Simon and Andrew. James and John left their boats and decided to follow Jesus too. Jesus chose Simon, Andrew, James, and John to be part of his close group of friends called the disciples. They left everything in order to be with Jesus and to learn from him. They had no idea what was going to happen next, but the reason they dropped their nets and followed Jesus was because they believed, I can trust God's plans for me. wonder. Those guys knew all the steps to fishing. They didn't know any of the steps to what Jesus was asking them to do, but they still followed Jesus. Hmm, maybe I should have followed Aunt Lucy's plans. I wonder what would happen. Perfect! It's perfect! Wow! That was really fun! As I was building, I just followed one step at a time. I can't believe my aunt is going to build a big version of this. Won't that be great? She will really need to trust the plan. Just like the disciples had to really trust Jesus' plan for them. Friends, 
Do you ever wonder what God's plans are for you when you grow up? I'm not sure what growing up will even be like. Will there be cheeseburgers when I grow up? Oh, maybe the cheeseburgers will get even bigger. Anyway, it makes me feel good to know that. I can trust God's plans for me. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. <laughs>